Hello guys, in this video we will learn how to make FAQ question expandable and collapsible or in short accordions. So if you don't know, accordion is a UI design element that allows users to expand and collapse content on a web page or app. So if you learn this technique, then you will be able to design any other collapsible accordions uh, which are used throughout the website. So let's jump into it. So if you see, I have the question, I have a button and I have the body, which is the answer. Okay. So first we need to learn how to add auto layout to each of them systematically. So what we want, we want this two to stick together. Okay. Because this is what will be visible. So we will add auto layout to it. Okay. Now after this, we will add auto layout to this body and this one over here. So let's do it press shift and select both of them and press shift a now it's in auto layout mode so now if you see if i uh, decrease the size nothing is happening to this one why because it's set to fixed we need to make it fill container then only it will adjust along with the parent content okay and the body also needs to be filled which is correct so we have the basic structure ready now let's add a fill white and add paddings to it let's say 24 and 16 okay uh, if you want you can also give a radius but that won't be necessary another thing that i would like to add is there should be a divider between these two so let's add a line so let me change the color to black and then take this line and place it in between the question and the answer okay just like this maybe i should change it to something lighter and make it a bit bold even lighter okay. and keep it one on okay and also change it to fixed uh, change it from fixed container to fill container now if i change the size it will adjust automatically very nice we need to make a component of it let's duplicate and now what we have both the states one will be collapsible another one will be uh, closed so select both of them go to this icon right over here it's the component one and select create component set so now we have two states this one will be let's rename it from current variant let's rename it as state you can either write default and here expanded expanded okay or there can be an easier way that is instead of writing state we can write expand and here we can write uh, for the first one it will be no for the second one it will be yes so when we do this when we write yes or no let me show you what happens if i take an instance out of it then you can see a toggle button appears so i can easily change the state uh, with this toggle button so it only appears if you write yes or no uh, okay or true or false so now that we have our two instances ready so we'll make this one a collapse state so how are we going to do that select the unnecessary stuff that we do not need that is the body we do not need the body so we can just close it from here from this eye icon also i feel i do not need this line so i can close it now you see when we are closing it it it's coming to just the header let me place it here and now we will add prototype to it so for that by the way i flipped the icon to show it's expandable we will select the header not the whole frame the reason is that if you select the whole frame then uh, when the user will click on the body or anywhere else inside this frame it will uh, collapse but we do not want that we want them to click on either the button or the header then only it will collapse and expand so we will select the inner uh, frame that is the header we will call it the header and add a prototype on click change to expand smart animate i'll choose linear and 200 ms okay same with this one I'll not select the whole frame. 
I'll only select this one where the person will click. So I'll change it to this uh, on click expand, change to expand smart element linear. Now let's take an instance, press uh, Alt and take out an instance, press Alt and take out an instance and place it inside this frame. Also, I'll make multiple copies of it just to show how FAQ works. Okay, let's take four copies, select all of them and add auto layout. If you want, you can change the size of it. I'll keep it zero. I like it this way because there's already so much space. And let's test it now. See, see what's happening. It's so beautifully. The buttons are rotating uh, properly. The text is getting visible. And also what I was saying that if we had added auto layout to the whole frame, then a person clicking on this area, I mean, the body could uh, would have been able to close it, but we do not want that. We want them to click on the header or the question or this icon, then only it will expand and it will close. So that's our cue. So that's why we added the prototype to only this header part. Okay. Now I'll also show you how to make the whole page, whole section responsive. Okay. So for that, I need FAQ or frequently asked questions. Okay, as the header, let me change it to 24 and uh, maybe bold, semi bold. We'll add this along with the title. Press Ctrl Shift and we will make it select this one and make it fill. It's already filled. Okay, now what we're gonna do just add some padding, like uh, whatever padding you want to add, that is maybe 156 and or let's say we want to add 120 here and one let's just change it mm -hmm. and let's add 92 over here so we have this ready and let's add a fill to it now it's ready see it's kind of collapsible but no not something is wrong something wrong is happening over here that is we need to in this component we need to make the text layer set to fill container as well and change it to left align okay same for this one we set the whole uh, container to fill but forgot to change the inner ones so change it to fill container and left aligned same for this body it's set to fill already okay now see what happens now also i forgot to add a padding because we want the text to be in one line okay so for that what we can do or we can keep it in the center yeah that's the best thing so now it changes with the frame in order to add a distance between the two we can change it to 24 pixel if you want a gap a distance of 24 pixel between these two we can add this and now see when it's coming near there is a fixed gap of 24 pixels it can't go beyond that okay so this is what we wanted and also don't forget to set the inside frames to fill container because that's very important that's it for today guys if you really found this video helpful then do not forget to like comment and share and subscribe to my channel for more such figma tutorials and see you in the next one till then bye, -bye.